welcome back everybody you already know this your girl heaven sent i want to thank all my subscribers i truly appreciate y'all okay so this is going to be that same shit a different day keep in mind these are daily reads this read will be for whenever you see this motherfucker keep in mind this read is general and it may not resonate with no a damn a body. Don't forget, I am on Patreon. The link is in the description box below. Okay, if you want to join the team and check out other reads. Now, let me tap right in. Because energy is going on for this same shit a different day. It's like, okay. This is a situation where I feel like somebody already know what it is okay like this ain't waiting around for anything from it like if this is pertaining to a certain person okay where somebody wanted to be you know in a relationship with a motherfucker but from the looks of it it's not happening like Motherfuckers accepted it for what the fuck it ain't. Okay. Um, I feel like this is being still and listening. Like hearing what the fuck is really going on in the situation. Okay. This is like. Okay. I guess. I deal with this situation however I want to deal with it you know like interact with it whenever I want to you know what I'm saying it's like that type of shit here because I feel like even though two people may not be on the same page right this is okay the relationship ain't going as planned this is you know yeah i wanted this to turn out a certain way but obviously it has fell apart and that's not finna happen okay so even though you know it's carrying that energy signature but at the same time motherfuckers still care okay like Motherfuckers still checking up on each other. Okay, if somebody needs something, somebody is delivering. This is just acts of kindness. Okay. This is acts of kindness, even though, you know, it just didn't work out. This could be dealing with certain relationships, certain friendships, you know. Um, and I, it ain't always got to be something intimate, you know what I'm saying. This could go towards anybody. You know, it's just agree to disagree. It's like, okay, I see we don't have the same morals or, uh, you know, like, okay, we ain't believing in the same things. And, you know, we don't, we just different. You know what I'm saying? We different. But it's like, I still fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I still care about you. You know, I ain't gonna kick you to the curb. You know what I'm saying? Just yet okay it's like that type of shit here it's a level of gratitude like especially like when somebody is doing something for somebody it's always a thank you um always a thank you that's pretty much what motherfuckers is looking for out of anything dealing with it, is a thank you like because somebody didn't have to do that somebody you know what i'm saying like whatever what is going on where somebody needed some help or you know somebody just doing something you know because you know they thought about a motherfucker this could be telling the person about something that they wasn't aware of this could be you know somebody asking for something you know they capable of doing it or whatever it's just that thank you that a motherfucker is really expecting you know out of anything dealing with it but it is a lot of thank yous that's going on dealing with this situation. A lot of thank yous. A lot of gratitude here. Okay. Um, now, at first, 
this person may, you know, was slipping on them thank you, you know, because it's like the least you can say is thank you. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what it is. You can say thank you. So that person may need it to, you know, learn some lessons dealing with thank you. But far as like the cycle wrapping up and motherfuckers learning the value of a thank you is like, yeah, okay, this person gets that. They get it. Okay. Also, I'm seeing here, even though, you know, like somebody could be kind of, what's the word? Um, it's, it's more of like knowing your self worth, but wanted to be with a particular person because you got a certain connection with this person. It's like, okay, oh, I don't want to start over, but you know, you deserve more right you know that you know you deserve more but at the same time you not showing any weakness okay you still remaining strong even though you may want it wanted it to be you know maybe you wanted to be in a connection with a particular person a relationship with this certain person or whoever you know what i'm saying and you could be looking at it like, dang, am I ever going to find somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you could be feeling, right? You could be feeling like that or whatever the situation is. You may feel kind of like not like undervalued or something like it's something with value here with yourself that I feel like, you know, you could be kind of hiding, you know, because you putting on this, you know, this strong face like the strength and you know you just going through it but can't nobody tell that you going through it put it like that can't nobody tell what you've been through okay because you remain as strong and confident and it's like these are the people that motherfuckers need to check up on you know what i'm saying the people that's always the strong one you know, because behind closed doors, it could be some breakdowns, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with certain energy, especially dealing with relationships, you know, like far as they wanted some type of relationship to work and it just didn't work or, you know, all type of shit that's going on, cheating. It ain't no telling what happened, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with it and it kind of, you know, damper a motherfucker. So, Yeah. This is definitely check on a motherfucker who was like your strong friends and shit. Y'all need to check on them. Okay. Um, also, I'm seeing here somebody could be very protective or like, I feel like whoever this person is that maybe you just can't be in a relationship with could be the type that's kind of like protective or overprotective okay um it's something that's just too much here like they may do too much like you just don't know what you're gonna get dealing with this person it's like something could just be too much something could be too much here i feel like um but also at the same time i feel like this energy is healing something is healing about this person they have a healing spirit about them like it is some type of transformation here it's like a rebirth or something like that like this experience with this person may have changed you in a way you know what i'm saying like you may not be the same like if you notice yourself from you know before you met this person to now where the connection at right now it's like you may feel like you a new person you know what i'm saying and i feel like everybody can see that you are a new person it's like something with healing it's like you just healing and you accepting it for what it is if this is making sense okay um also i'm seeing here some of y'all need to cleanse your crystals cleanse them up okay and recharge them because something may be not working here okay you need to cleanse your stones 
you need to cleanse your stones heal your stones okay <laughs> yeah, some of your stones need healing around this motherfucker it's like you're trying to do something it ain't working because the stones is 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 not well okay they need to be cleansed and, and you know washed up and charged up okay it's like take care of your crystals like you take care of yourself all right also here um i'm seeing it's something with a connection and that it's like a battle something is just too much to deal with it's like a battle like you're on a battlefield with a motherfucker okay i don't know if far as like the communication it's like somebody always got to kick off a conversation or it's just yeah this may just put this whatever this is okay this relationship or whatever the connection is just put it in park park this shit park it get the fuck out okay ain't no telling it don't even matter where you park this motherfucker just park it get out because whatever happens gonna happen so i don't know if you wherever you park it at motherfucker tow that motherfucker up out of there okay um to the goddamn junkyard all right scrap it okay i don't know what's gonna happen somebody steal it i don't know okay <laughs> but just park this motherfucker and get the fuck out okay because it's pretty much wherever it's at that's where it's at when it comes to a serious relationship far as marriage and you settling down with this person i don't think that's gonna happen and i feel like you accepted that for for really what it is and that's the truth of it now i could say that somebody is headed in your way okay i'm seeing a king of wands aries leo or a sagittarius or this could be just a person that's fine as fuck okay fine as hell but this person could come off you know very strong or come out of nowhere very passionate um like but is this is gonna be a lot of heat a lot of sex like yeah this is definitely something that's coming out of nowhere okay like they're on their way like now like they're on their way okay i don't know what's going on i don't know if you gave this person a little bit of attention okay i don't know what's going on with this it was a little conversation a little few words or something like that but uh yeah you lit the fucking match okay around this bitch i don't know who the fuck you summoned around this motherfucker but whoever this king of wands is they on that way okay they hopping in the car they headed in your direction and i feel like this energy is gonna like it's gonna amp you up it's gonna charge you up you know what i'm saying it's gonna be exciting whoever this person is that's heading your way it's a king of wands all right so yeah that's pretty much all i got for this same shit a different day yeah thumbs me the fuck up if that shit just made sense and i'll see you on the next one peace out y'all